Hello and welcome. We all are discussing about motivation here on this channel. Through case studies, best-selling books, voiceovers, our guest of speakers and many more. But exactly what is motivation? Motivation is the processes that accounts for the direction, intensity, perseverance of a person towards achieving a goal. It's a background thing. Yes, it's a background thing. It is not what you do is motivation. It is what makes you do that. That is motivation. The first action that we take in our life is primarily caused by our physiological need, primarily hunger. If we were not born hungry, probably if we were born in a fluid medium, we would not have even screamed after we born. A fish does not scream. So in my opinion, Maslow's need hierarchy theory captures the fundamentals of motivation. Therefore, anybody knows about Maslow's need hierarchy theory. We have also gone through the story of Jonathan, the story of Jonathan Livingston Seagull, the best selling book. What was the motivation behind the actions of ordinary seagull and the action of Jonathan? For ordinary seagull, food was the motivation. Only food was the motivation. But for Jonathan, flying was the motivation. Flying, exploring, crossing the limits. And that made Jonathan to skip his own breakfast, to leave his own friend, to stay away from the herd. And it is that love for learning that made him do the things that could be dangerous for him. Going thousands of miles in the sky and falling freely just to know the various tactics and avionics of flying. This all was possible for Jonathan, primarily because his level of motivation was very high. His level of persistence was very high. Let us take an example from the Mahabharat. What accounted for the action of the Krishna? He waged a war, in which on the very first day, one Akshani Sena of the Pandavas was eliminated. And certain proportion of Kaurava was also eliminated. What was making him do that war? What accounted for this Krishna's action? What was the motivation behind this war? What made Krishna to go for the Mahabharat? Can you tell what was the motivation behind this? Yes, Dharm Sansthapana Sambhavani Yuge Yuge Dharm Kiya Sthapana Karna This was the motivation behind the action of Krishna. This was the motivation behind the Mahabharat. Now let us take an example from Second World War. Two extremely opposing ideology coming together. That's an action. That's an action. Soviet Union, Russia and Britain coming together was unimaginable after 1917. What was the reason for this action that all these forces have come together? What was the motivation behind this? The same motivation that we have just learned in the Mahabharat. To establish the realm of democracy. In the Second World War, American pilots were not fighting for America, they were fighting for the larger cause of democracy, to safeguard the democracy, to establish the realm of democracy. Because Germany, Japan and Italy, they were the fastest forces and their larger objective was to establish a global kingdom. Therefore, the Second World War was waged. It was a war to safeguard the ideology to safeguard the democracy and the motivation behind the Second World War is democracy, to establish the realm of democracy. So my dear friends, motivation has to be understood because things get done anywhere, any place is primarily because of motivation. So if you can understand the concept of motivation and if you can figure out how different systems and people got motivated. What was the motivation behind the success of people in the past? What was the spark behind their success? And also the people who do not got motivated. What happened with them? If you can figure out this all thing, you can apply in the different dimensions of your area of work. Deming, the quality guru, has said, people are born with intrinsic motivation, self-respect, dignity, joy and learning. But as we grow, we lose these all attributes and while looking into the mirror, can we reclaim that past with which we are born? So my dear friend, I am leaving you with this question that while looking into the mirror, 
can you reclaim your past with which you are born? Just think over it. Thank you for watching the video.